we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright a lot. Emily made me this coffee. Cat, dog are still asleep and Snow who said that I would always be the last person awake. <laughs> but I hope she gets rested up and uh, we'll have a nice day checking out this national park. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy but Things are finally right With you and I the future is bright When we're in such a hot place in the morning we like to open up the doors Thankfully we have these bug nets so we can get some air in here So we don't have AC like Snow and Kurt They're very lucky When we built the bed we cut a special notch so I could reach my hand down and open the back door from the inside Good morning! Good morning guys! You're gonna love me one day, buddy. I know it. <laughs> What's up? Oh man, so you're thinking it might be a bit of a rainy day today? So I looked at the forecast and they did say it looks like it's supposed to rain like all day, high percentage. Exciting. It's sunny over there. Yeah. It's cloudy out there. <laughs> wow. I don't know which way it's gonna go. Yeah, I could probably still go for a swim or who knows. He's <laughs> yeah, open like this. Oh, okay. But he can, I think he can. If he tried hard enough. Yeah. Morning, Vanna. Oh, we've got some Vita walked, and now she's outside running around for a little bit. Graham's outside running around. Everybody's up, and we're figuring out what we want to do today. Making some breakfast. Cutting up some papaya. It's a lot better to eat raw fruits and vegetables in this uh, crazy hot place so that we don't have to turn on the stove. And a funny fact about papaya is it has a double meaning in a lot of Latin American countries. Cuba, Costa Rica, papaya refers to the lady parts. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt's going over here, fill up the water. We filled up last night. Yeah, that's a sprinter. The water situation has changed now that we're in Costa Rica. Every other country would have purificadoras, water purification stations where you could fill Here up. Here in Costa Rica, the tap water is generally safe to drink. That kind of purified water is really expensive. You're talking about a dollar a gallon. And so you just put it in here. Yeah, just fill it up with water. That's cool. And how big is your tank? Uh, it's 27 gallons. It's best to try to find potable water when you stay somewhere or at your family's fill up out of their sink. So we're parked up at this reggae bar. It was free because we ate dinner there last night. Very quiet. The family that runs it is very nice. We also got to do some laundry next door. And the woman that does the laundry is also a part of the family that runs the reggae bar. So it's a good stop all in all. Awesome. Mama. What a beautiful beach we have here. Basically all to ourselves. But we're gonna go find another spot that we can stay tonight. Good boy, Grammy. You're so independent. Well, here we go for the day. We're gonna check out the town real quick. Gracias, adios. So this nice guy told us that there's a sloth like super close, really low. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh my god! Almonds! Oh, look at how many people are here! Oh, it's moving! 
Yeah, he's, I guess it's, they, he said it's an almond tree. They lighted it on the tree. Oh, so Teamwork makes the dream work. It's how it goes in van life. Dang, so we just saw a, a two-toed sloth. Oh, so amazing. The, the guy just rolled up next to us on his bike and he was like, there's a sloth close to the ground, you have to see it. We stopped and got out and looked. We only left the reggae bar less than 50 meters down the road and we saw a sloth. And like a sloth that is kind of hard to see sometimes, the two-toed such a good day already it's only 9 45 we're killing it the word sloth in english is one of the seven deadly sins for laziness and the word in spanish is literally lazy perezoso or with the spanish accent perezoso so we got an oso perezoso they call it a lazy bear So we found a parking spot. It's at a little hotel. So it's good that it's raining because it's gonna be kind of cool in here for the dog and the cat. It's gonna be a nice day. I mean, it's already been an amazing day. We already saw one sloth really low. Uh, so I just looked out of the van and there was just a mama sloth walking across the road. And Kurt was wandering around like he always does. And I was like, Kurt, come on, come on, come on. We have to go see. And so we all got to go out and watch the mama sloth walk across and she had a baby right on her stomach. Oh, how amazing. Say this qualifies this is a pretty good spot <laughs> oh look at the little baby on there yeah, yeah. oh there's a baby the no baby. way
So we just saw a mama sloth walking across. With the freaking baby right there. Chilling in the van, about to pour some coffee, and Kurt started killing sloth on the road. Yeah. So we all ran out. That was pretty amazing, guys. That was so cool. The baby was like this big. I know, she was so small. It was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, what a day, a sloth Already? day. It was only like 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. I added it, you were Danny. And I did, yeah. I got out and Sam was like, sloth, <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I, I just saw the parking attendant walking around like and there was something weird moving underneath of him. I was like, what is that? <laughs> probably helping it cross the road. Yeah, because there's cars oh, and perfect. So Looks like the solar is climbing. I think it is gonna stop raining. Noni. I know in the state that's silly. But I already, I've seen it before. I already the juice. Yeah. We've been in. Uh, Ooh. Wow. I'll yeah. show the wife. Emily, you want to see this thing? Yeah, I'm trying to put on. What Smell is it? it. Oh. it smells bad, huh? So you'll eat this if you need this medicine. Right? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. No, you don't. Yes. I eat it sometimes, but I don't like this. It's a season after. Yeah, yeah. A two to three hour snorkel trip costs between 15 and 30 bucks a person, includes everything. So when we're going to leave the pets here, we fill up the water bowl, we turn on the fans. We'll put out a couple toys, a bone from some, for Sombrita, and then also I usually pack one of her Kongs full of a little bit of food and peanut butter so she has something to do for a couple. I don't know how long it takes her to do, probably only 20 minutes. But at least she has something to do. She loves it. You comfy. You don't really fit there. <laughs> a huge change of plans. We're all gonna go snorkeling out on a boat together. Uh, with Snow and Kurt, of course, we're all riding in the van on our way to a little port where we're gonna take the boat. Sombrita's always making friends. Is she up there? Yeah. <laughs> There's our... Oh, Graham's up there too. Yeah, he's he's down there near the... I see Graham's tail. <laughs> he's going to love me one day. <laughs> hey, Graham! And this is our guide, hey, Graham, Graham. Kenry. I think we're about to head out. There we go. These guys are gearing up. It's time to go in, right guys? It's looking really so, clear. You can see the bottom easily. Yeah. Nice. I might even be able to see stuff from up here, guys. I think you will. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to be our guide. All right, everybody's getting in. Kurt couldn't wait, he's already gone. <laughs> These guys are still flippering up. Or as I like to say, putting on their swim slippers. <laughs> and there's Kurt already in the water. Oh, he's already he couldn't up wait. There. Yeah, he couldn't wait. All right, Danny's next. Getting geared up, getting cameraed up. It's their day. They got to do the filming. <laughs> I'm just helping. <laughs> Emily's still sizing the mask. <laughs> Kurt's already been in the water for 47 minutes. 
There they go. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors lost within a haze. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze. The dreams are not the same for me. Chopas. These are the fish I am seeing. Chopas. And there's a bunch of them. Oh, you can see them swirl on the top a little bit. Those guys are way out there. All right, back to the underwater footage. So when you snorkel in this park, a guy goes with you. They take very yeah. good care of this reef, right? Yeah. And they got to make sure these guys don't do anything to damage the reef. I think that's pretty awesome. Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid Dreams are not the same for me Standing by me two things crazy fear of sharks I'm not going in it's stupid I know but I'm not going in and even if I did go in my bum knee would make it very hard to get out of the water on the ladder so I get to hang out in the boat so those guys are out here right behind me snorkeling don't feel too bad for me the Capitan drove me around and I saw like five different kinds of fish the brain coral the fire coral and a stingray and it was beautiful so it won't be the same that those guys are seeing but i got to see some stuff so that is awesome back on the boat she was cold she's drying off and those guys are going some more once she gets all warmed up we'll get a little info from her <laughs> wow, it's not raining at all huh no no it's nice and warm i saw a bunch of those brain coral there's urchin there was a couple of fish that, whenever it reflected in the light, it was fluorescent. It was like bioluminescent only, it was almost. It was really cool. Nice. Some really awesome stuff down there. I, I didn't see any... Oh, we saw a bunch of lionfish that like I dove down to get a closer look. It was really fun. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Definitely cool. a top spot.
nice day. <laughs> did you see the? What did you see? Manta ray right there. Wow! Oh, coincidence! Is they come over here? Manta ray. Did you see uh, that giant barracuda? No. I didn't see any barracudas. I did see some barracudas. You guys sink showering or? <laughs> yeah. Live in a van. <laughs> Ty, it was so fun. Oh, it was so fun. <laughs> We're heading back to the, well, your van. Yeah. The vans are reuniting. That's yeah. Cool. And we're gonna have some an enormous lunch because yes, we're all awesome. starving. <laughs> starving. We can't just last on bananas and granola forever. But Kurt, Kurt said that might be one of his best snorkels ever. It was really good. It was really good. There was a huge biodiversity, a lot of corals and lobsters and lobsters oh, yeah. and fish and sea urchins and so much cool stuff and colors too, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. Cool. It was amazing. We saw s some stingrays from the boat, but dang, that was an awesome time. Yeah, it was a good time. Well, let's bust out these bikes. Go grab some laundry. Do a trick for the sloth. Picking up laundry Let's in style. <laughs> There's Kurt in the lead. Danny in second for laundry pickup. Danny Wheelie. So we are on a bike ride to go and pick up the laundry. We're definitely living that Caribbean life. Yeah, this might be the most fun laundry pickup I've ever done. Thanks now for letting me use your bike. I'm not going to lie, it might be a little bit more fun than the BMX that I have. We made it back to Uchi's! Thank you so much, it was a pleasure meeting you and your family. Yeah, thank you so much. Laundry pickup success! the beach in Cahuita, Costa Rica. Well, we're gonna leave it there for today, but check in tomorrow over on Curtin Snow's channel and follow us. We're gonna be traveling together for two weeks. We're gonna have a shared playlist. Should be pretty sweet. We're excited to share these weeks with you guys. Big first day, hoping for another one tomorrow. <laughs>